slow turning into God. Hmm? What is this life turning into? Hey. Can somebody do a thing like this? Hmm? Hmm? God, what is this life turning into? Hmm? People are out there praying to God to give them at least one child. And somebody, somebody had the nerve to, 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 to throw away this lovely baby. Woman! 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 Come back! And I said, come back there. Ruba! One love! One love! Let's get together and feel alright. One love! Let's get together and Amara! Princess Amara. Hola. <coughs> Amara, what are you doing? Hi, 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 hi. Even if your nose does not function, are you also blind? Can't you see I'm smoking Igbo? Hi. You're smoking goof. You're smoking Igbo. Hola. See, oh, you need to be taking this thing. Once in a while, just pause and take some Igbo for your system. Because I just told you now I'm smoking Igbo. And you're asking me if I'm smoking Igbo. No wonder. Look how you ended up a hungry, poor village farmer. Hey! Oh. Yeah. Hey! Igbo na waki Hi! 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 Hey! Hi! What an I saw. To behold the daughter of a king naked dancing at law in an open market spear. Amara. So I caught you smoking Ibo. And you can't even say sorry. You can't even say sorry. Hey. Sorry for what now? Eh? Huh? Why would I say sorry? Please, oh, just pretend you did not see Amarachi here and continue going to the farm. Eh? Because you are dulling my highness. Right now, Amara is in a very spiritual state. I can't see myself. Ah. Ah. Your father will hear this. Your father must hear this. Chenkucha. Chenkucha, wait. Let me tell you. You see, complaints were laid against the people in the Bible. Eh? But the high places were not taken away from them. They still offered burnt sacrifices and incense in the high places. That's all Bible talk about. Second Kings chapter 12, verse 3. Oh yes. Jai! Wait. Chinkucha. I think I'm in the high place. This place is not high enough, I think. Come and help me, let's climb to this place. Hey. Help. Let me come to this place, help. it's high enough. Hey! She's even quoting Bible. Sorry. Ndo, soon you will know what you've done to yourself. Ndo! Hey, before you go to the farm, let me climb to this place. Ndo, help me. Ndo. Well, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Why is it so difficult for you to understand that I am your stepmother and I deserve some respect from you? You think I spared your life because I was afraid of my father? Of you think so? Not. Of course not. You spared me because you were afraid of what I would do to you. That's why you did. Look, I would have beaten you blue black, beating you till you get to your village with my hands tied behind my back. There's an extent you will run that your stupid mouth. Okay? See, let me tell you something. If it's not because of this thing you're carrying in your womb, I would have beaten you or reshaping this your face for you. <laughs> Go ahead, Ali! Hokogan, punch it! Ah, Balotelli, punch it! Punch my nose, punch it! See, forget your big bones. Forget your big bones! If I handle you, if I handle you right now, 
they will give you burial poster tomorrow. And they'll write, gone too soon. If they don't, I'm not the good daughter of my father. I've been a truth to picking up my father. Try it! What? Is this is this oh. any oh. huh? What is it? She tries to kill the child. What, ah. what did you do to her? Dad, I didn't do anything to her. You didn't do anything to her. She's drinking in pain. I want you to stay away from her. Stay away from this place. Dad, she's if anything happens to her or to the baby in her womb, I will not hesitate to kill you. Dad, she's lying. Now get out of my side. I said get out of my side. Dad, it's yours. Your father, go, let's go. Out! Dad, I... So, let, let me get the casket. So I take you to the hospital place to see the doctor. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. no. There's no... No need to see the doctor. I'm fine. It's just a minor shock. I mean, the way your children be. So, so, are you sure you're fine? Well, I'm fine. I fresh fruits to... Fresh fruits? To calm my nerves. Just, just relax. Oh, relax. You want to kill? Go get the fruits you first mean? before I tell you who they want to kill. Oh, say she will punch me. I'm waiting for her. Balotelli, give me an eye in this palace. Oh my God, is that my auntie? That's Auntie Kamoka. That's my auntie. That's my auntie. Please do not stop for her in case she tries to stop to greet you. All right. What is it? What's the problem? Oh my god. I knew she was going to stop you. Why? Why are you trying to give an old man like me a heart attack? <laughs> a heart attack? Yes. I'm getting you excited. It's called excitement, old man. What if your auntie had seen you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you dwelling on what if? Just focus on what is. Which is? Which is the adventure I'm giving you? You're way older than me and you know that. But I know your type. You have this fat, old, <laughs> good wife at home. But you secretly wish that your wife is as wild and hot as I am. Mm? Don't you wish your wife was I've hot like me? Before, not to make a fun of my wife. And don't try it again. Oh, I'm so touched. Seriously? You really do love and respect her so much. Aww. I still wonder why you cheat. Where are you going to? I decided to make do with my leg from here since you love your wife so much. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I made you angry. But don't be offended. Come in. I close it. I promise to make it up to you, huh? So sorry. <laughs> Close the door. I promise to make it up to you. Huh? You better do. Now, what is this? I can see you. Okay, what do you want? Come on, Oinye. Come on. Huh? You already know. And you won't still give it to me. Huh? Look. I'm the finest guy in this town and the freshest. It still baffles me why you won't still give it to me. Indeed, you're the finest and you're the freshest. And that is the problem that you have. No, so certainly it's no problem at all. It's not, it's not a problem. Listen, I'll tell you something. You see, back there in Milan, Italy, girls beg to hang out with me. But here, you, well, I mean, I've given you all the chances to like, not to compete with See, let me tell you something. For the fact that you were catapulted from Italy does not mean that you have money in that pocket. You hear me? Instead of you to go and look for something to hustle like other guys, you're there sniffing, looking for women up and even in the bush to sleep hey, with. Hey, hey, hey! Don't insult me. Don't you insult me. I will insult you. And what would you do? I'm still with my senses. Not because I'm asking you out. Okay? Don't allow me to catapult you back to Italy. You hear me? Don't you ever insult me if you like home training. You're nothing but a running nose little girl that has to be beaten up. Come, Look at you, you're shaking, you're shivering. Come, come, you see. That's Call me a running nose? Yes, that's what you A little girl? Hey, 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 hey. Just look, look at her. Wait, we put that first. My guy, hmm? I believe this baby. No, ah. wait. 
Uh, 55k. Okay, now. Nah. I believe her. Uh, My money is on the Italian Al Pacino guy. <laughs> okay, nah. Oh boy. You are very uh, saucy. Italian Why? I'm not sure you would want to feel the you rot of Onyinye in this village. You will see. Try me now. You will see. Are you alright? You're nothing but a running nosed little girl. What are you going to do? Go! Say it! Leave you. Go for my hand, though. You're a running nosed which money? Those we put money on those five shoes. Papa, what are you doing? Anyhow, correct me. In this village, correct. See, because you're from Italy, you're doing anyhow. Mama, holy deal, Mama, holy deal. Ah, I'll give you Mama, look, look at these two people that are fighting. Eh, look at these two people that are fighting. I just lost five grand, Mama. Five grand, five grand, five grand. Five grand. I just lost, Mama. Ah, huh? and rooting for this bastard, this bastard, Mama. See, this boy that's lying on the ground, this stupid idiot, this stupid Italian boy. Mama, if you were your son, tell me the truth. Would you disown him? To God, would you disown him, Baba? Eh, would you disown him? Is that why you fools are here watching them fighting and killing themselves? You boys are evil. You boys are evil. My princess, I beg, please. I please. Mama, it's because of you. If it's because of you now, I'll just catapult this boy back to Italy. <laughs> idiot. Italian Wadada. You, you, you are an Italian Wadada. You want to come and show us in this village. Next time when you try me, you you, you enjoy this caboose. Idiot. I believe you, God. Good Good I don't want to go. I believe you, God! You're too much, John! Ah! 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 money! Oh, they brought the fruit. How are you feeling now? My king. Mommy, I told you not to bother. I'll be fine. If I don't kill Oinye with my bare hands in this oh, house. Stop talking like that, my love. A man doesn't become a warrior by killing his own children. But how could my own daughter have scorn from the house just because I scolded her for disrespecting my wife? Take it easy on her, please. Young girls are like that. Every young girl will be jealous when they see their father happily in love with a girl their age. I'm just worried because I've done everything humanly possible to make them like me. I don't know why they hate me so much. I don't know. And I have talked to them as much as possible. What is it? You're raising your voice and it's not helping the shock I'm in. Oh, sorry. The worry will get better. Mm -hmm. I won't raise my voice again. Thank you, honey. <sighs> you go right. Mm -hmm. I'm just resting a little bit. Buy a lot of near yes. so that everything will go every, I will use the heart. Let them. Yeah. Hey! Princess Suka Waka. He's the princess, oh. He's the princess, yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the princess. You, you, you. Ah! <laughs> 
Princess. Man's in quarter. You're welcome. Oh. I greet you. Yeah, How is the city? The city is fine. Yeah. Everybody is fine. Yeah. yeah. Your Highness, it is good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> you decided not to be coming the way you used to. Uh, it's not fair. No, it's not that I decided not to be coming home the way I used to. Just because I have not been chance at all. Yeah. But to God be the glory, I have all the chance. And I'm free to go anywhere I want to go. That Thank is God. good though. <laughs> I was actually on my way to the palace when I saw the both of you. I decided to stop. I actually want to start solving some certain problems here. What problem, Your Highness? Nkucha. Your Highness. I heard you've been going all over town. Telling whoever that cares to listen that she had this family, royal family is cursed. Hey, Your Highness. Hey! That's a big fat lie. Eh? I said one more. Me, Mkucha. I have never said a thing like No, I can never say a thing like that. You know me now, Okuro. <laughs> you know me. Okay. I just felt I should warn you. Just in case, I don't want to ever hear the name of my family from your mouth again. Let me not hear it from your mouth again. Manu uh, Zukwanea! Calm down, calm down, Your Highness. Um, since uh, he said uh, he didn't say what you thought he said, uh, let it be. Besides, uh, we are talking to a titled man. This one, a titled man. Eh? This coward. Hey! Your Highness! You are disrespecting me. Oh, if not that you are a member of the royal family, me unputa. What I will do to you, eh? What I will you do? Unkosi give edge. Eh? Oh, 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 no <laughs> Acha Acha Um, who's a pair of trousers is this? Don't mind, Papa. Then, what is this? And um, whose property are there? They are condoms. Don't mind. You have a girlfriend, right? No, I, I have a fiancé. Will you shut up your mouth, idiot? What's the difference? You call it fiancé, so that elders like us will have the moral justification to look the other way. Why you fornicate like dogs? That's not true. So, I'm a liar. No, 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 no. So, your father is now a liar. Isn't... No, listen, wait, wait, wait. Let's see who is lying. Um, Acha. Papa. What do you use them for? They're for protection. Against kidnappers or arm robbers. Papa, why are you asking all these questions now? No, I said you call girls fiancé. So as to fornicate with them easily. But you said I was lying. Isn't it? I didn't say you were lying. I was okay. only trying to... Okay, okay, it's alright. It's alright. Take your, your arms or arm, armless or talisman, whatever you call it. <laughs> Idiot! It is always good to show the dog the tick you pick from his body. 
so that he wouldn't think that one is flicking unnecessary pens on it. I've told you to do what you have to do, but you won't listen. Do you think you are too young to get married? Acha, are you too young to get married? Or do you think your mates have now started getting married? As we have monopause, we also have papa pause. I have given us a very conscious thinking. And I don't see the reason you don't want to marry me. Acha, I love you very much and I would want to marry you. I need you to understand that I have a lot in my head right now. I need to take care of a lot of problems in my family. My sisters are not making things easy for me. My step... My father's wife is not making things easy. She's making everything worse in the palace. You know, we can still sort things out from here if we get married. This is not what I need right now. And please, Archer, I don't want to be put under any kind of pressure. I am not putting you under any pressure. I'm only trying to be reasonable here. Seriously? You are not being reasonable. God knows you've put in a lot to be like a mother in that house. God also knows what you've been passing through since your father remarried. And I know he wouldn't want to deny you the happiness of living your own life. I have a life. Then live it with me. Live that life with me. I'm beginning to think that all you, you, you want is just the marriage thing. But I need you to know that whatever it is, my family comes first before any other thing. That is a very insulting and callous thing to say. And I demand an apology for that. I don't think that I owe you any apology. Asha, let me tell you one more time. My family comes first before any other thing, including you. Just look at yourself. Look at what that girl is doing to you. You almost jumped out of your skin because your mother stood beside you. Mama, please. Please, I am not in the mood for this kind of talk. Me too. Me too. But let me tell you, the worst mistake you will ever make is getting married to that girl. You heard me. Oh, you there? Amara! Chizaram! Where are they? I don't know where they are. You don't know where they are? Yes, sir. So, you know, Amara Chizaram think they can leave this palace without telling anybody. So, they've grown wings. Now, don't ever call them on phone. I will wait here until they come and every time each of them enter this palace. Yes, sir. Hey! Ah, welcome. Okay, okay. You are welcome. Thank you. Ah, Igwe, have you been feeling well at all? You look so lean. Oh, no, 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 don't go there. I am perfectly all right. It's obvious. <laughs> welcome, Auntie. Ijoma, how are you? I'm fine. You live long, Your Majesty. Ha, the only daughter of Ezudo, the second. You are welcome. Thank you. 
Where is the wife? She is fine. Oh, she's in the room. Ah. Yes. Ijoma, go to the cook. Tell him to prepare a befitting meal for the daughter of Ezudo II. Ah, Ezudo the third. I salute you. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. Hi. Give me my money. Princess, I'm not feeling very fine. And I had the money. And I thought to myself, why not give her this money when you get better? Or after I finish buying baby things? That was the problem. I now wonder to myself. I Shut up! Shut up! I ask you a simple question. I expect you to give me a simple answer. You're here blabbing what I don't give a hoot about. I'm only trying to explain to you the way... I am not interested in your explanation. All I want is my money. And you give it to me today. Ah. Susie. You are here. Okay, Baka. Have you asked her what the problem is? She's been like this all day. From one room to the other. And I wanted to take her to the hospital. But she says she's fine. If she says she's fine, then she is fine. Hmm. Susie, how are you? Oh, I'm tired. I need some rest. Okay. Let me still look at my away from you so that we can have enough rest. We can sleep here or you go to your room and have enough rest. That nobody disturbs you, eh? Okay. Okay, okay. Come, 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 come. Let's go and talk. We have a lot to talk. Ha! The princess. It's been a while. Let's go and talk. Ha! Susie, we'll be with you. Okay, Maka. So, you insisted you will not get married. Let me tell you what love did to me. At my own time, I had two women in my life. Your mother and Okay, Maka, the king's elder sister. Out of love, I married your mother. But where are we today? Do you know where I would have been if I had married Okamaka? Ewe! Ewe! Ewe, you a disgrace! Eh? You are a disgrace! Just repeat that thing that you just said. Me a disgrace! Repeat it that! Let me hear you! Repeat it that! Me! Repeat it! Let me hear you! You slept man! You are a disgrace! You are a disgrace! You are a disgrace! You are a disgrace! That's what I said! Repeat it! Repeat it! Repeat that thing! Stop! Let me... Wait, first, I don't understand. I don't just understand why she can't come back. Because maybe they, eh, I don't delete her from my memory. You don't say. Yes, because it was so convenient that she stayed away for so long. Why did she come back? She should have stayed away forever. Amara, I don't see anything, you know, having her around in this palace. At least having a mother figure, I think, is a welcome development. Stop! Stop! Shut up, dear! Sean. Why you feeling like Seth? <laughs> Who made you our mother? Is it because they named you Joma? You now feeling like one person that is in the position of mother. Nobody gave you the duty of choosing mother for us, so just on your side. On your side. And now this is Mukamaka, and she brings Suzanne to this house. Yes. Except if, of course, you're a little devil like them. Witch! Now, now they're witch, I think I go like them. Oh, you be witch! Oh, you talk to Amarao. Talk to her, she doesn't know what to do. She keep her mouth shut. Yes! Meanwhile, um, Amara, why were you smoking weed on the road today? Are you now addicted to your bow that you don't know when to smoke it or where to smoke it? Is there something wrong with you? Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, I smoke it because. I want to be, I want to be on, on a high frequency, high enough to fight all those nonsense village boys that want to provoke me sometimes, just like you now. You know, say you be role model. Jai. Amara, you smoke Igbo. Oh, yeah. I, I will hit you this, you know. I will hit you. you fight today. See, listen, oh. listen. You need to concentrate more on your studies so you don't end up like her. You hear me? Eh? Like me? 
just like you. Who? Oh, and how did you end up? How? I'm a graduate. Hmm. Yes. And my journey to success and actualization has just begun. Hmm. Graduates. Well, go and marry. Go and get a job. Yes. Leave the palace for my to practice. I hate it. I hate it. I was only having a discussion with my son. I did not in any way invite you. I don't need an invitation to tell you how much of an ingrate you are. How many women do you think that will tolerate your excesses the way I do? Just because I love you. You listen. If you want to listen to him, you will end up a bitter and a frustrated man just like him. You see, what I said was even complimentary to her. I said that I married your mother be out of love because she was a virgin. Honestly, your mother was watertight. But my dear son, I want to advise you. It is better to marry a woman with river zambezi in between her legs. Mm? Provided she has prospects that can secure the future for you. Leno, you have been here, mother. So that by the time you get married and begin to see things like this, you will not start complaining that God has, has, has hated you. Okay. All right. Since we are using this night to give you useful pieces of advice, let me add one or two things. You shouldn't look at your father. You should endeavor hey, Mama, to... Wait, 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 wait. Mama? Hmm? Papa? Two of you need advice more than I do. You need it. Mama? Hmm? Advise him. He's a useless man. Useless man that is talking about another woman in her wife's presence. Slick. Slick boy. Guy, hmm? I don't reason this thing. I don't reason I'm reasoning and calculate them. Boy, it's worth a try. It's worth a try. Hmm? Now, picture this. If I marry her, I mean the princess, if I marry her now, hmm, it will be easier for me to fall back on the family's wealth as the king's son-in-law. <laughs> guy, reason up. Now, guy, see ya. I don't believe you. We need to hustle. We need to hustle and make money. I so much believe in self-made. Hmm? See who's talking about self-made? How can you be talking? How can you be reasoning like this? How can we be talking about self-made? How can you say I can make it self-made or what? When these old monkeys in power are not willing, not willing to give us a chance at the national kick, not even at the state kick. My guy, you are going far talking about the national kick. Nobody. Nobody will allow you anywhere close to even the local government cake. Okay? So I think we should grab the bull by its horn. Take our destinies in our own hands. Because trust me, nothing good will come out of those morons in power. That tells you. Destinies. Destinies. Boy, wake up. There is no destiny in this damned community for us to grab. Wake up, sleek, I beg. Look, like I tell you something. You see this village, you see this community, mm -hmm. very soon, like very, very soon, this community will be among the oil producing community. Now think, imagine the prospect that single opportunity will open for us. <laughs> Sleek, <laughs> Papa Sleek, you're a dreamer. You're a, you're a dreamer, you dreamed you're dreamable. I'm not, look, your dream will come to pass, but in the next 50 years, it's 50 years, and by then, what would have happened? We'd have wasted our lives. We'd have waited in vain, and, and, and they would have turned us a, a wasted generation. Don't be thinking of something that cannot happen. Not a reason in that, there's not a reason like that, boy. Hey, Sleek, do, do you know how long I've been waiting for this kind of thing to happen? Hey, Sleek, do you know how long I've been waiting? And in fact, do you know what my Bible says? Bible. Okay, can you tell me one thing that the Bible said that has not happened? Fine. There cometh a time when seven women shall seek one man 
one man that they may be married to him and that they may bear his name. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> listen up now. Guy, listen up. Just picture this. Eh? Calculate them. If I marry 10 women, hmm? if I marry 10 women, and each of them pays me 50, 50,000 naira per month. <laughs> Boy, listen to me. When I'm talking, you listen and listen. Listen to me. Do you know how much I'll be raking in per month? <laughs> Why? You know, at times, if I say you're a fool and short sighted, Google has either insults you. So all you, all, all, all you can think is about women, women, women. Why they see you here, eh? you will end up being a gigolo. You feel married 10 women, as you did. You feel married 10 women. You know if you think another thing? <laughs> Boy, have you ever heard of the word birds of the same feather? Huh? Uh, complete on now. You are who be birds of the same feather? Uh, complete on now. Okay, wait, for your mind now, you be my guy. <laughs> Bros, stay with the name for this village now because I still be this village. I know that you and your sister will have discussed basically everything there is to talk about. You can say more of that. You know, she could be so engaging. From one interesting story to another one. She's simply <laughs> a wonderful person. When is she leaving? Um, but she just came. I think she will remain here till after the memorial service of my late wife. Really? That's good. That's good. How? You seem to be happy. I thought you asked because you wanted to get rid of her. No! Of course not! No! I was actually asking so I could be certain I have enough time to prepare a surprise for her. Oh, don't ask me what. It's women's stuff. Okay, it's alright. I will ask. So, why don't you come to bed? I have a new trick I want to teach you. The baby. <laughs> the child is fine. Nothing is going to happen to the child. I'll be careful. <laughs> oh my god. We had this argument over and over again last night. There were thoughts of destroying you in the past. But right now, the idea has died a natural death. No, not at all. It never died a natural death. I dealt with those behind the talk. Hmm. Yes. The issue is a lot different now. Oil is about to be discovered in this town. And those who want to dethrone you might not be patient enough to wait for you to die a natural death. What are you talking about? You have been sleeping for too long. Wake up. I am not sleeping. Wake up from what? Okamaka, there is no man, one of a woman that can dethrone me in this community. No man. In the past, they were plants because I have only female children. But today, where are those who planned it? They're all gone. I dealt with them. You said you have taken care of them. Oh, yes, I have. But the stakes are higher now. What stakes are higher now? I was talking to my brother. I'm sorry, princess. I, I only came to tell my husband that. I have this pain in my waist. I want you to help me check. You're not feeling fine? Mm. Yes, my love. You want me to come and check on something? Yes, in the room. We are not done with this discussion yet. Whatever it is she wants to show you, can wait. Let us iron out this uh, important issue. No, 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 Ukamaka. Are you ordering me to sit down when I have decided to do something else? I'm not ordering you, Igwe. Oh, Your Majesty, mercy. Have mercy. Uh, You have to go back and see the princess when we are done. Okay. Pregnancy isn't a joke. Sorry. Mm. Girl, I brought into this family. It's now the Alpha and Omega. 
Mbano, it's not possible. Not when Amaka is concerned. <laughs> he? I wonder what will happen to a fowl if the fire that burned the tortoise catches up with him. <laughs> Is the sky falling upon you? Or what? <laughs> uh, uh, the sky is not falling on anybody. Uh, but you know, when what is stronger than the cricket sliders into its hole, it takes to a flight. I agree. Yeah? Yes, but that's um, a discussion for another day. Um, you didn't come yesterday as we agreed. Honestly, I left all I had to do and waited for you in vain. So, what happened? My brother, if I tell you how my goat escaped, you have, you have pity on me and even try to replace it. <laughs> so, what happened before I replace your goat? <laughs> yes, what happened? I met him which as I was coming to her house yesterday. Yes. We exchanged pleasantries. And as we are trying to discuss um, on what to gain, if the oil is finally uh, discovered here. Yes. <clears throat> Okamakachiade drove him from nowhere. Kola, 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 kola. She beat the living daylight out of Unkucha. You won't believe it. <laughs> wait, you won't wait, imagine wait, what that is. Wait, wait, wait. Um, uh, Okamakachiade. Igwe's sister. Yes, oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Uncle Charles asked me not to tell, it, <laughs> tell anybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, yes, but, but wait, wait, wait. You know, that woman has always been something else. But um, what did Uncle Charles do to her? I don't really know, but uh, she was angry because uh, she said uh, Uncle Charles said something <coughs> terrible about the royal family. <laughs> Hi! Well, I pity you, watch out. Honestly. Um, but, but you know what excites me most about Okamaka? Um, oh, yes. You see, the way she fights with passion is exactly the way she handles a man in bed. <laughs> no, no, there's a way she will, she will twist this thing, eh? Before you know it, you start running demonic incantation. <laughs> and, and if you're not an old hand like me, eh, you will flow the Aroya pap. Even before you penetrate. <laughs> 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 so uh, you mean Okamaka is in town? Oh. She had just registered her present by beating up <laughs> Unkucha. Susan, I don't understand. Honey, honey, I'll practically kill myself. I'll kill myself if I have the faintest idea that something bad will happen to you. Don't ever think about that. You are the queen of this community and the mother of the future king. Always have that at the back of your mind. And as for me, nothing is going to happen to me. Nothing. Are you sure? No matter how high the stake rises, as you do, will not be moved. And nobody will send me home before my time. That is if you don't allow your sister move you around like a doll. I better stop put you in a tight position. Mm, nobody pushes Ezuda around. Nobody. Um, I suspect it's because of the money that the oil company paid you. That's why some people are angry. Have you cashed the check? Not yet. Ah, uh, you want them to know that I don't really need the money. Oh, honey, you. <laughs> you want to tell them you're giving the money to your wife? Oh. You wait and find out. Oh, you. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to say. 
see when they find out you gave the money to your wife. <laughs> Where father and the mother from the future king? Yes. <laughs> I have not been around for some time because I hate wasting my effort. Something is about to happen. And I'm trying to make your father see reasons from the right perspective. <laughs> but once again, he's showing me that I'm wasting my effort. What right perspective? Listen while I talk. When I call for questions, you can then ask your question. I'm not here because your father's life might be in danger. But if anything should happen to him, <laughs> You girls will be grinding stone with your feet. And who wants him dead? There has been plots to take away the throne from this family. Simply because my brother had only girls. But by the grace of God, he will soon have a male child. And the fact that oil will soon strike her has wakened the killer instinct in some people. <laughs> and who are those behind the plot? The topic on everybody's lips today is the oil in Oruzo. Certain evil men will not have patience enough for him to die before they take over from him. So I want you girls to put your hearts together and channel your energy towards getting what belongs to this family. Any question? Bwanti, how are we supposed to do that? First, by understanding that your father's nonchalant attitude is not to your best interest in any way. And by saving him from the clutches of his wife. <laughs> his wife? But you were the one that brought her. Oh yes. We asked him to marry a second wife so that she can give him a male child. And not a woman that will come and start controlling him. So, we must start putting pressure. We must start putting pressure on her. As soon as she puts to bed, she leaves. Any question? Onye, you wanted to ask a question. If I have any question to ask, I'll ask. I understand. Hey, Ebu, I'm finished. What is it? Ebu, I'm finished. Oh. What is it? Hey, Ebu, my wife is dead. My wife is dead. Oh. Hey! What happened? Ebu, she went into labor. I took her to the hospital. I was waiting for good news. Do you know what I got? Bad news. My wife is there though. Hey, 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 pull up my mouth for I uh, what about the baby? Hey, 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 I lost everything. I lost everything. everything. Your wife and the baby. Uh, uh, the baby. The baby is in the incubator. Eh? We are waiting for the doctor to arrive. I just ran home now to take somebody so that I'll go back and meet them. Hey. Calm, um, watch her. Calm down. Hey. Hi. Calm down. Uh, uh, is, calm. You no, said I should calm down. That is life. I should calm down. That is life. Hey. That How is do you expect me to calm down, eh, boy? When I have three kids to take care of, including this day old, eh? How do you expect me to take care of my aged mother with three kids and this one? And you are telling me to calm down. Hey. Hey. Uh, um, watcher, take it easy. There's nothing you can do. You see, I came to sympathize with you uh, concerning the blows Okamaka unleashed on you. I didn't even know that uh, the worst was yet to come. Egbe, Egbe, point of correction. Did you say you came here to sympathize with me or you are here to mock me, Egbe? I'm, I'm telling you that I lost my wife and you are here telling me that somebody gave me blows. Eh? I'm on my way. I'm talking about my wife is dead and you are here telling me somebody gave me blows. Eh? Oh. What are you doing here? Me and you, we got to relate. Now I make a show for your room. On a very high frequency, man. My dear, I know that you smoke everything that's smoking. I know you smoke flowers, vegetables, and even grasses. I'm not high. So how can you and I possibly relate when I don't smoke? Hey, that one said my point. Very good point, though. You know if you smoke, you know if you high like me. Why you want to try? You want to kill yourself. Not just try more, you could just die. Your brain don't reach my own. So I don't advise you now. Me, I just calm down. Never run your mouth. You cannot come to quarry. Yes. I can't make me reason things. Suzanne, you don't ever think and say for this house. Say you be problem. Are you out of your mind? No, you're not supposed to reason Anna. Are you out of your mind? I am not the problem in this house. You and all those your senseless sisters are the problems in this family. Mr. Witty, 
Yes. Susan, don't make me vex. Don't make me vex for you, oh. Don't try and insult me. I'm not going to take him from hey! you. Hey! 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 You're all right, eh? Honey, what have I possibly done? What have I done? Why don't they like me? Even though she knows I'm carrying their brother. It's all right. She slapped me twice. Twice? Hey! Please, just relax. Sit oh. down, relax. I'll take care of this. Oh. Just sit down. Why? Why? Hey! I'm going to take care of this. Just relax. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Honestly, when you brought up this idea, I don't know say you go walk to God and they tell you, I don't know say you go walk. Yes, each other! I got right there, you might tell you, no, no, eh? You see, in life, if you can think it, you can achieve it. There is more where this one came from. Okay, take this one, eh? Yeah. No go carry a shower. Fantastic. No go carry a shower. Hold on, Fantastic. 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 Remember the money I asked for? Don't forget. No problem. Speak. What is this? Seriously. No, you're probably that. No, you're probably that. I'm my papa. Oh. <laughs> Call me. No, my papa now. In the kids that be for public. Wait, come, come, come. Hold this one. Hold this one. Hold this one. <sighs> going to say the nonsense you want to say or you want to get out of my face? Okay. I want you to tell me the meaning of that nonsense you just did with my father now. Talk. <laughs> okay. I know you're a dumb ass. Are you also blind? Obviously not. Why don't you go and ask your father the meaning of the nonsense he's doing with me? Eh? Slick. This girl's a sharp tongue devil. Oh. I believe a little bit of small purpose will put her tongue in the right direction. Shut up your mouth! Look at this Abino. Look at him. Lay your filthy hands on me and see whether you won't have my entire family to contend with. As for you, I'll make sure your father disowns you. She's having speak English, yo. So now me sleek. Me, me, me. Sleek. You the chow 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 for. Me. No, while I, I buy him that one day, I buy him. You know, say they've been talking for Bible <laughs> on how man and woman just do small respect go go. No more respect. Now, what thing that happen here now? Stop. Bobo, I go flash this babe now. I go flash this babe. You see. Flash. How dare you! You slap me. You have the guts to slap me. I'll make sure you pay for this. I swear you must pay for this. Look at you. Look at you. All you can do is slap, right? You can't even fuck well. Okay? See, listen. I can afford to fuck whoever I want to fuck. Your uncle, your brother, your friend, whoever, including your father. As a matter of fact, all of you are cowards in bed. You're the most miserable things that have happened to me in my bed. But you know what? He's even a little bit better. You know why? He has peanuts. Little change to pay. Why you have nothing? Only but that slimy, vegetable looking to your two left legs. <laughs> Rubbish. Am I going to go mad a vegetable? <laughs> okay. Okay. Honestly. My papa, they do pass me. Am I going to go mad a vegetable? After this show, eh? We're going to know me and my papa who do pass. No, 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 wala, no, wala, no, wala, no, wala. You know, say. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
이제 이제 <웃음> 
you will be carried out of this room. Oh, princess, patience, patience. Just, just a little time. I, I, I'll make the money available to you. I, I just don't have it now. I'll give it to you. Just, just a little time, patience. Patience, yes. I'll give you benefit of doubt. But when am I getting my money? One week. I give you three days. One, two, three. In three days' time, if I don't get my money, you will regret ever knowing me. Oh, Princess, thank you so much. Three days. Yes. <laughs> The Ned one. Is it that you read all the time? I'm not reading, I'm writing. Uh, sorry, I don't know the difference between the two. Anyway, what are you writing? I'm writing on a book I intend to submit to the forthcoming national literary competition. That sounds interesting. So what are you writing on? I'm writing in memory of our late mother to call attention to maternal mortality. You see, Zaram, so many women die in this community and I'm sure they will still be alive today if only there was improved health facilities and better trained medical personnel. Hey, baby, Ijoma. Seriously, I won't lie to you. I didn't understand one thing you said now. But it's alright. You sound like you know what you're talking about. Um. It's very, very good to know that my sister doesn't suck in every other thing the way she sucks in kissing. What? <laughs> I should probably lecture you a little bit as the expert. Baby sis, <clears throat> listen, there's entirely a different world out there that has nothing to do with books like it's not all about reading all the time must you always read go out and explore you know have fun losing up you're too uptight and you just keep packaging yourself with this book and does this book even fuck you really yeah okay what do you know about obstetrical hemorrhage what's that you know, it's really unfortunate that you don't know what killed your mother. So Ram, you should read at least once in a while to widen your horizon. Knowledge doesn't end in knowing how to kiss. Um, see, listen, enough of that. I've had you. Next time, you need to mind your choice of language, okay? And besides, you don't need to get mom involved all the time you need to talk. Just read. Get a book or something. Read. Dad. I've tried and I cannot understand why you have suddenly developed hatred for me and my sisters. Is it that you're tired of seeing us around? Hmm, not at all. I don't hate you, my daughter, neither do I hate your sisters. But as long as you live under this roof, you must do what I say you should do. Yes, Dad. Okay, now to show you that I don't hate you, I'll do something now. God! God! Yes, Your Majesty. You call me my daughters, my wife and my sister. Tell them I want to see them here right now. Try it. 
Whenever I see you, I remember my late wife. Thank you, Dad. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll make you happy. They are on their way, Your Majesty. Okay. Oh, here they come. Amara. Mm -hmm. um, I want to use this opportunity to let all of you know that I don't hate any of you, particularly you, my daughters. You are my children, I can't hate you. This is your auntie, my sister, and your stepmother. They both have their responsibilities in this house. And they equally have respect according to them. They have refused to see me as their stepmother. Tigers, that's what you're breeding. Tigers with claws, that's what they are. When the king is talking, you listen. If anybody interrupts me here again, I will teach the person the lesson of life. Um, well. I have some amount of money with me and I want each and every one of you to forward her account number to me. I want to put in something there. Hey, but I'm not going to reveal to you the amount. But rest assured, it's not going to be less than a million naira each. Amara. Igwe, you know that I'm loyal, sir. Igwe, I'm loyal. Sempe, for the king. Sempe. That is not shit. That is not shit. You saw that shit. That's me. I'm not bad. This is where we do, my daughter. Hey! Oh, can mystic Ah, uh, uh. Hey, <laughs> UK, UK. United Kingdom. You're welcome. Hey, on a matter. Mm. <laughs> hey, back to life. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I've not been able to come and see you since I came into the palace. Yes. It has always been from one thing to the other. I don't even have time for myself. Uh, even me. I was planning to come and see the king. But when I learned you were around, hey, hey. You send boats. <laughs> also. <laughs> so I had to hasten up. <laughs> Daddy, send for me. Oh, yes, dear. Um, you please go to James, the pan wine tapper. Tell him that I need a keg of fresh pan wine by tomorrow morning. Yes, Dad. My love. Thank you so much for sending her on this errand. If you hadn't called her, she's either on the dining table or in her room, reading all the books in this palace. I wonder what she does with them. Hey, you have a point. You have always been, and will always remain, a special chiquito in my life. Are you sure? Not that uh, sweet Oshia in my house. <laughs> you care, you care. Hey, yes. <laughs> No, ah, EJ Daddy, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, good. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yes. If I am that special to you, why do you to marry me? No, you see, eh, it's a mistake I will ever regret in my life. You know, it's therapeutic to see you. Your movement alone, eh? Your swagger is naira go. Dollar come. Not this with two in my house. Any amount I go take up, any amount I go take up. <laughs> Okamistic. Hi! Okamistic Ahu. It's not easy. Hi! It's good to see you. Thank you. Yes, I heard of the hot pepper soup you gave to Mkocha. Hey, boy. Hey. I just want to say thank you for all your information. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Hey. Hey, boy. Yes. As for this, um, is we now. Mm -hmm. I will personally deal with him. <laughs> Don't know. I want to know if you have more information about his plan. That uh, will see me one. <laughs> cho, 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 cho. You don't know if he's a man or a woman. Even me, I will deal with him. He doesn't have internal like booby. Any day I will download a slap on his face, eh? 
that day he, he will know that there's a difference between Sumo and Mesere. I'll deal with him. I have another point to make. Your Majesty, as long as you want to show your children that you love them and give them fatherly care, you still have to instill discipline in them. You have to teach them to be responsible. It's imperative that they learn to be responsible. What are you insinuating? Your Majesty, I still maintain that giving them a million each is too much. It's just too much. I mean, you still attend to their other needs. That's why giving them a million is too much. Especially that sister of your Sukamaka. Now that you're giving her a million, she'll think there's more where that came from. And of course, she'll expect that any money you want to give to her must surpass a million. Greed! That's who she is. Her name is Greed. I think you're correct. I, and I believe you two don't need the money. Yes. Oh, your Majesty! <laughs> don't put me in shock. Don't you put me in shock? <laughs> of course I need money. I'm carrying your son, the heir to your throne. Of course I need money to prepare for his coming. Of course I need money to take care of him when he comes, for his comfort and others. Oh, of course you won't give me just a million, your majesty. <laughs> Moibo, I was coming to your house. Good morning. Good morning, my dear. How's everything? I was hurrying to come and see you and know how you and Ucha is coping with the kids. Oh. My daughter, you've seen what that has caused. If I were still young, it would have been easier for me. Just look at me. How am I supposed to take care of those kids with these old bones? If Mfucha stays at home, tell me, who is going to provide for our feeding? Please take heart. Take heart. Oh, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I understand. But that's more reason I was coming to see you. I want to suggest, why not take those kids to their mother's place? The sisters are still young. They are able to take care of those kids, at least as a part of help. You are right, my dear. We've already discussed that. And in push also seems it as a wise decision. Death. Death. It pains me when I hear that a young woman dies after giving birth. But what can one do? We cannot question God. He's still God. You know, when another person's corpse is being carried along, it will seem as if it were a log. It never occurs to bother me. But now, I've seen it at my doorsteps. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just, just take it easy. Take it easy, please. Take it easy. Everything will be fine. Moibo, don't you know that God is able to do all things? At least she, you have all those children. Those children are there for you. They are for your comfort. Oh? Where are you up to? I'm going to the market. Come, let me lead you. Hmm? Let's go. Um, I will not pretend to know what you are passing through. But I do know that it is only the hairs on the body of the goat that hides the fact that it sweats from the eyes of people. Um, take heart, my brother. God will strengthen you. Thank you, Anu. Thank you for your concern. Um, I was on my way to see Ebwe, but I thought I should see you first, at least to Intimate you with the outcome of the meeting I held with our partners. In a nutshell, plans are reaching advanced stage to ask Ezudo. And uh, oh, Ezudo, Ezudo, that man has suffered. Now I've just come to realize what that man has been passing through, raising those children single-handedly. You are right, my brother. But right now, I need your support to dethrone him. 
And when I become king, <laughs> we shall all have a cause to smile. Umkuja. <laughs> Kono. Yes. Kono, where is your wife? She's in the city. And uh, your children? Uzama is with me here, and the rest are with her in the city. But what has this got to do with why I am here? You know, if you had lost your wife earlier, and you're left alone raising your children, you would understand what that man everybody is planning and ganging up against to the throne is passing through. Hello, uh, um, yes, what is it? I've searched for him everywhere. He's nowhere to be found. I even went as far as asking questions, and he said they've not seen him. All right. We shall see. Okay. Sir. Be going and coming. Yeah. I hope everything. Uh, there is no problem. Eh? Yeah, no, no problem. Everything is in control. Uh, I will see you later. Listen, I want you to prepare vegetable soup for my dad. Use fresh chicken and make it very tasty, okay? Here's my princess. My princess, you sent for me. Yes. Um, Where is it? It's okay. Wait, get out. Get out of here. Get out. Wait, yeah. You will not believe what I just heard now. She's around. Now in the young man I'm saying she here, she visible am with the person for phone. Say, mommy, they cost. Let me see, burn all the guests. What? Hey! And the one where you pay me pass. Hi! Where you pay me pass, you say, the yeah, yeah, man. He say, because all of us be guests. Say, we will end up as a shower. He said that. Sit down, ma. Ask her. Ask me what? Eh, eh, eh. Oh, yeah. Tell her what you told me. I'm not fear again. You couldn't even digest the story I just told you. You're already spreading it. But you said it's now. Um, Chi, tell me what you told her that you heard. I need to know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you were talking about. The problem is not even what you heard. The problem is where were you when you heard it? Probably you were there frolicking around with those old men, those old fools. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> Joma, you know, like I was telling you, my parents insisted. You know, they insisted persisted and insisted on their persistence, you know? <laughs> and that, I had no other choice than to come back to the village to choose a wife. And by the way my parents were going about it, come on, they raised my expectations so high. And on the day, Juma, you won't believe the kind of disappointment I met. Why, why are you disappointed? Why well, I was disappointed? <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh God. Please forgive me if I say this. I know it's unfair to call other girls ugly. But you know, I should have seen the parade of girls that my parents brought for me to marry. Yeah? There's no better description for them than ugly. Really ugly. I don't know, but there are lots of pretty girls in this town. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point now. Couldn't they see? Couldn't they see pretty girls like you? Yeah? <laughs> Oh, please. I'm not even one of the pretty ones. I'm just lucky I'm a princess, and you know that word takes away people's thoughts from me. Oh, come on, Ichoma. You don't need to say things like that. You just say yes. Please, please, I need to go now, okay? I'm sorry. Please, I have to. Stay here. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Please, sister. If you leave now, you'll paint the wrong picture. You make it look as far as discussing something bad. Stay here. Ijoma, what are you doing standing here with this rascal? Papa sent me on an errand. And he also asked you to bring this idiot? No, he sent me to the Pamwine Tapa's house. And then he was telling me how he wants to get married and he would love to marry me.
I know you stupid young boys of this village. You like to catch them when they are young. You see my sister? If you want to look for a wife, stay away from her. Hey. You hear me? God, I don't know what this world is turning into. Eh? You walked all the way from there to here. And you saw us having a healthy conversation. I greeted you, you to answer. And you have the gods open. Hold it right there. Who the hell are you to talk to me? To stand before me and talk? You, you're still standing there. Get out! Chuma. Chuma. Do you want to marry my sister? Hmm? You want to marry my sister? My princess. Want to marry my sister? Hey, please. You want to marry my sister? No, no. If you value your dental for me, stay away from my sister. Yes. You hear me? Yes, I would. Stay away from my sister. Yes, my queen. Yes, my princess. You. Stay away from my sister. I am the fighter one, I am the rock star, I am the gentle one, I am the rascal you are. got no wisdom they are. come here. I say come here! I was informed that you and one other person went to threaten the men working at the oil prospecting site. Uh, Papa, it's true. But we also witnessed the shameless show of affection between you and that Okunu, Chizaram. Papa, tell me, why will a man of your age, stage and status be kissing a little girl in public? She kissed you, you're even smiling. Why? You kiss you, they kiss you, they smile. No, no, no. I'm sorry, then. After say you don't know. Hey, 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 hey. Tony. Tony, wait there. Don't move. Why is it better? So, all those small, small English, like, good morning, good afternoon, hello, excuse me. You, you know they speak up. Huh? You think I'm here to play, Abby? You think I'm here to play? Huh? Oh no! Very good. Oh no! Tell me why you have been pendling around, telling people that my mother is cursed. Tell me why you've been telling people that she gave birth to girls. Tell me now. I am sure that you have started smoking those harsh things your other sister smokes. Oh no. Oh no. What did I hear you say? Eh? Oh no, it's me you're talking to. Tell me that. Open that your dirty mouth and say it again one more time. And you'll receive my cargoes. Get out of my house. Try me! If I throw you out. Do you know the person you are talking to? Are you insane? Oh no, it's me you're talking to. You don't know Nye Oh no! Who's mama? Throw this thing. Out of. Do you want to fight? Are they mad? Papa, see. Thank you, I won't bet. No for my hand, though. Beat this bee. Beat them. Thank you. Osama, what did you just say? You are mad. Papa, thank you. Beat them. Anyway, beat them. When you are done, leave my house. Come now. I thought you were running your mouth. No, no, no for my hand, yeah. Papa, no for my hand, though. And you. Come. You want to fight? Are they mad? <laughs> Your Majesty, it's very unfortunate that instead of carrying our pregnancies with smiling faces, we are worried stiff. It's only a few of us that can afford to go to the big cities for antenatal and postnatal checkups. Hmm. My daughter, I had you. And I appreciate your predicament. I have tried as much as I can to bring the needed uh, improvement on our medical facilities here. But the government continued to promise, promise. But not to lose hope. Something will still come out of it. Your Majesty, please try and talk to them on our behalf. Just recently was Uncle Chia's wife. 
She died briefly after giving birth. The king has heard your request. And he said he'll do something about it. Do you have to go out of your way to remind him about his late wife's death? Or can't you see I'm pregnant myself? Susan is enough. Your Majesty, I better take my leave. My dear, I'm sorry for that. We continue to pressurize the government. Even if they cannot build new ones for us, they can always bring us uh, qualified you know, medical hands so that we can move on with the ones we have already. They can even send us doctors or nurses. We will really appreciate it. Oh, yes. Yes, you don't need to fear, eh? By the time you are due to deliver, I believe you must have competent medical hands and good equipment for our uh, medical centers here. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ichebe, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, my daughter. Um, Ezudo, the truth about it is that doctors and midwives do not want to have anything to do with rural areas like ours. They prefer to go to the big cities where medical bills come in. I mean, millions. That is very saddening. You see, if you, if you ask those who sent their wives to the big cities for childbirth, hey, hey, some of them had to sell their bands just to offset medical bill for one child. Ha, <laughs> Ezudo. You stupid animal. Ah! So this is a new way of stealing other people's husbands, right? But there's nobody snatching anybody's husband here now. My goodness! She now talks while I'm talking. Your Majesty, I only came here to lay a complaint. Why are you doing all this? Why are you coming to complain to my husband about your pregnancy? Is he a doctor or a nurse? Is he the one responsible for your pregnancy? Is he the one? Talk! Talk! But... But... but ha, Susan! Why are you treating your fellow woman like that? My dear, get up, get up. Get up. Thank you, my dear. My dear, you can go. Princess, I am queen in this palace. And you just called me Susanna, not Her Majesty. Worst of all, you permitted her to leave without my consent. You shut up. Monsieur Gonu. Oh, you now have the guts to talk to me, eh? Have you forgotten I brought you into this palace? Have you forgotten? Eh? Have you forgotten I brought you into this palace? You want to shout? Oh, you think you can shout? Hold on a minute. Ow! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Oh, Your okay, Majesty! Okay. What is it? What is it? You will not ask me. Ask your wife why she's screaming. Okay, Abaka, if you did not touch her, why would she scream? Huh? Your Majesty, it's okay. I didn't do anything to her. I just came outside and I was talking to a fellow woman like myself kindly. And she came here and started screaming and calling me names. It's and now right. I'm in shock. It's like I'm turning pink. Oh, Your it's Majesty. Okay. Okay. You're turning pink. You will soon turn you red. You will turn red. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Abaka. Abaka. Leave me alone. Okay, Abaka. Okay, Abaka. Oh. If you touch this lady again, yeah. okay, Abaka, I will oh. have it caught with you. Igwe, you can have it hot with me. I don't care. I am your elder sister. I will beat you and I will beat her as well. And I will still have the strength to bury her. Leave me alone. Papa, my dad is to kill me. Leave me alone. Oh, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What can I do to you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Oh, your majesty. She's gone mad. She wants to kill me. That's what she said. I'm in shock. She's going to beat me and kill me and the child and miscarriage is coming. I went to confront Onowu. <clears throat> Mama, welcome. Onye. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Acha. Huh? Hope everything is alright. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Back to what I was saying. I confronted him. I asked him why he was always peddling around, telling people that my mother was cursed, that she was a witch before she died, that she gave birth to girls. I warned him very, very well. The next time when he does that, I will deal with him. Am I boring you? 
Did I tell you you were boring me? I know the way I left you the last time was really wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Have you forgiven me? You're forgiven. Thank you. So I can continue. I'm all ears. When Ono called the son to come and beat me, you know what the stupid boy did? Tell me. He placed a bet of 10,000 naira on both of us. That whoever that beats each other will win and will pick up the 10,000 and walk away. He placed the bet between you and father. I swear to God. <laughs> that boy is so stupid. I had to hold myself. <laughs> so I won't laugh, but I just had to like. Be strong so that they'll know that I'm very, very serious about what I came for. That guy is stupid. It's not past what he would do. That guy is very stupid. I don't know who would have beaten you. Only, I want him now that if he tries me next time, he'll receive my cables. Are you looking at him as an old man, right? He's an old man. If I push him once, he'll just die. The man is strong. He'll just die. You think he's one of those small boys who beat around the village? <laughs> he's not one of them. He has old bones, very strong old bones. It's a lie. I'm very strong. I know now, I know. But it's very that might work like this. Nah. Give them up cabos. <laughs> You know, see you this girl, you know they fear. You know just they fear. So as you take convert our royal dining table, you carry and do workshop. Eh? You go to don't forget they write. Every day they write. What did they write? We know don't know. The book says, who won't read that? See man, they tell you. Make an advice to you, you guys to grow up. Mm, Smally, you suppose don't grow by now. Because you see life, it is very, very short. Start to groove. Life just short like this. Mm -mm. It's short like this. My hands have long passed. You know, yeah? And if you know the kind of fun I'm having here, you'll be regretting your inability to be a writer. Don't never think I'm missing out on anything. See this one? Where did they form? Did they form? Did they form? Doctor with eyeglass without the book for your front. You didn't miss. You know, don't want to admit. I beg. Okay, tell me. What do you know about maternal mortality? You know now. Is this question no? You don't know what it mean. Kai, small you don't for my aunt. Hey! Hey, no go now. We thought the book waited there for your front. You don't know what it mean. No ask me. Oh. I cannot tell you. I don't take tell you the answer. You get to find out the answer by yourself. Yes. I found out the answer for myself when I wanted to know. So find it. You could take one of these books for you. You suppose they Oh! See this one I say, what are they talk? You suppose they here. Tell the fire. You could there, yeah? Ma they come. I get to run something upstairs. They come. They here? What did I tell you? What was I telling you today? Hasn't it started manifesting itself? Barely how many hours ago I told you? Do you know that Oka Maka even threatened to beat me up? I'm not surprised. The way I see that girl, she'll do worse. Now tell me, what started all this? See you. I went to apologize to the pregnant woman that came to the palace. The woman accepted my apology and we're discussing. When she bashed in and started accusing me of manipulating you to give them peanuts, a paltry sum of one millionaire. What is wrong with that lady? I've not even given them anything that she's complaining. I am certain she will have started instigating your daughters. They will soon start their own fight. Yes. Um, in fact, none of them is getting a dime from me. None of them.
Like, no, let me come. You see from here now? Huh? From here. To that tree. Down to the extreme. Come like this. Yeah. Yeah. Here yeah, now, eh? Belongs to me. It rightfully belongs to me. Uh, so this is the land. Uh, from, from here, here now. From here now. To that tree. To that tree. Okay. We'll go to that extreme. Okay. Come back here. Here yeah, now. Okay. Uh, rightfully belongs to me. And uh, so this is the land. See, uh, the land is too small for what I want to use it for. Too small? Okay, like you want more? More, I need more. Huh? It's not a problem now. Like I told your uh, agent, eh? You see, this one rightfully belongs to me. But if you want more, like from here now. Come let me show you. You see, from here now, eh? <coughs> here. Okay, okay. Belongs to my younger brother. Okay. That's my immediate younger brother. Then this one down there, over there, yeah. belongs to my elder brother. So you don't have a problem. They are all my siblings. What will happen is this, eh? You should, you should buy my own. You should buy my own. So I will convince them to sell theirs to you because you've bought mine. So you don't have any problems. Look, I told him now, one thing I don't do is woo okay? Uh -huh. So you don't have any problem. Okay, okay. Okay, you have a you have a point there. Uh, see, let's go for paper work now. Okay, the paper work. Yes. Bring the paper now. Just everything in the pack. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, see see what you're going to do now. I'm buying this thing based on an agreement I have with you that you're going to convince your siblings to sell their own to me too. Look, Oga, our father shared this land to us, okay? I have no reason to lie. Take me by my words. I will convince my siblings to sell theirs to you because you've bought mine. Okay, there's no problem. Okay, now, um, let's go to the car for the money. Hey, hey last year! Hey! You see fine guys like us, they stop you. You dare the Galadima. Who you the phone for? Okay, what do you guys want? Ah now nah, uh, why do people always have this impression? Once you walk up to them, it must be what do you want? Don't you think it's rather absurd? Huh? Boy, has it ever occurred in your life? Yeah? Since you were born. Hmm? Go on, Nego. See, money. One, you know. two, three. You know. <laughs> has it ever occurred to your life you that know. make you rich? And you know. rich. And rich. Huh? So, what do you guys want to buy from me? Beautiful. Nicely put. Now, this is the message. This my guy here, Bobo, is interested in a girl called Ijama. But the elder sis is the stumbling block. Okay? So we want you to help us talk to her. Uh -uh. Let me rephrase. We will pay you. Mm -hmm. We will pay you to talk to Oyinye. Convince her, do whatever. My network told me that you guys are close, kind of. So talk to her and make her see Bobo as the right dude for her younger sis, Ijama. She cannot. Did you just understand what he just explained? I um I heard him I heard him doing the and I'm having a very difficult time trying to understand what he's um, about. What's your problem now? There's nothing difficult there to understand. What we're trying to ask you to do is to help us get Princess Ijoma's elder sister out of the way. And a handsome reward <laughs> comes to you, boy. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know that being a pimp can be this lucrative. Ah, this guy don't understand English by day. Who they call you pimp? It's called proposal. Okay? Even though we call you pimp, you pass people with a pimp, you pass them. 
What do you guys take me for? What do you take me for? You came up with what you feel is a brilliant idea, which I think is very stupid. And you expect me to be a part of it. What's this guy's problem now? No, 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 no. Now will you do what I want you to do? Or do you want me to force you to do it? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are <laughs> very funny. Very funny. You shot boys. I think I'm one of those two penny guys who intimidate in this village. Now, if you stand in my face one more minute, I'll teach you guys lessons you will never. Oh, 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 your papa is the mad. You know, will do anything. You will do nothing. Ah! Let me the phone for. Let me the phone for. Let me the talk to. Let me the talk to. Let me. Make a ring again. Make a ring again. Idiot. Yes, Chief Monks. You see that? You, you, you see that? Okay. okay, Maka. Let's pretend we're not having this discussion. Eh? I told you earlier, all I want is a quiet memorial service for my late wife. That's all I want. I don't have any need to pretend about anything. I am putting it to you. All you need is a change. And that change should start from the forthcoming memorial service. Okamaka, this is all about my late wife. I'm not about the people who will come on that day to eat and drink. So you don't want to hurt her feelings by giving your late wife the best memorial service? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You see? They don't want me to have peace in my husband's house. That's what they don't want. Look at. Because I was thinking whatever happens in my husband's house ought to be my business. Not the business of somebody else who should be in her husband's house. Igwe, if your wife insults me, I will descend on her mm -hmm. and... Look, Abaka. It's alright. In fact, this conversation is ended. Do you understand? And I want us to pretend we never discussed this at all. At all! It's okay. I've had you. We shall see. We shall see. Hey! hey. Oh! Okay, Maka. Your Majesty! Sorry, my dear. You hit my leg. I got to the child. Your Majesty. You see? You see? I don't know what has gotten into her. Your sister was the one who convinced me to marry you. And when I met you, I found out you're a good man. I fell in love with you and I married you. Do you know I pay her 100,000 naira every month in appreciation? What? Eh? I didn't want to tell you. But I'm certain that's why she thinks we have so much money. That's the only reason why she would call 1 million naira a paltry sum. And what's the reason? It's greed, Your Majesty. It's greed. Hmm. Oh, Princess. It's, it's greed. I wonder what Izudu is taking me for. Well, uh, if you cannot stand and tell that small Mbafa that she's the problem in that house, then he's not fit to be a king. Do you know she's the one now, indirectly saying what happens in that palace? Oh. You see, that girl is even capable of killing your brother the moment her son comes of age, just to take over everything. I swear to God. Instead of me to allow that girl to take over my brother's will, I will scatter everything. Oh. You, you remember when you told me you were bringing her in? to be your brother's wife. I was so skeptical. I told you what your brother needed was a mature wife. If possible, a Tukumba wife. Not all these women butter who have no respect for anything. How am I supposed to know that she will turn out to become a witch? How am I supposed to know? I brought her in because I know that her family has never had shortage of uh, male children. I will strangle that girl with my bare hands. No, 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 that won't be necessary. That won't be necessary because um, it wouldn't be in your interest. 
uh, I would rather we'll think about how best to approach the, the, the issue. Do you have any idea? Well, there must be a way out. It's not intractable yet. We have to we have to sit down and and talk about it. You know, it's really it's really a problem, very big problem, honestly. Yes. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Why are you shouting like that? I finished writing my book. Now I'm going to submit it to the National Literary Competition and some other people who are interested to read it right after it's been published. And that's why you're screaming like that. Yeah? Why? What did that mean? I finished writing my book and I was just telling her, never mind. No, I lie. Do not finish. Hey! Hey! Where's Molly? Congratulations! Oh, yeah, take her, take her, take her, take her. Oh, yo, yo! Take! My girl, I'm proud for you. Eh, I go flow with her now. If I, I go first, everybody read her. The book tight now. It's tight, I think. Yes, maybe, but it has to be published first. Hey, Joma. Was it me you were referring to as her in your statement? I am her. <laughs> eh, Smolly, I got to read this book first. Before anybody. All those time they sit down for our dining table. Carry and do workshop. I follow the encourage you. I eh? I go reach her now. Enough of this rubbish about a book. Ijoma, I demand an apology from you right now for referring to me as her. And did you give me any apology to keep for you? Or oh. you're high on something? Why you they find apology? She be and I don't let jealous the book. You give me apology, kid. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Who no promised to give me 50,000 naira today, but you spoiled everything because your lousy man cannot keep a simple secret. I was going to deal with the man, but that was after collecting the money. Your Hokoga sister Onye has gone to threaten the man, so he doesn't even want to see me right now. Yeah! Hey, they consign me. It's in my business. Dear Chris, listen, I need that 50k. You need to. I don't know, I don't know, but you need to look for that money for me. Yeah, yeah. I need that money. Yeah, you yeah, shut up! Shut up your mouth! You don't shit, you don't see this person next time you need to disgrace yourself like that. You, you blind! I beg you my money. Talk, but you blind! The man said where we talk, he owed! He owed past your papa! Past your papa, papa! Now you the fucker, you know the shame. Molly, we're going to arrange our hands clap for this girl. Who could do? We're supposed to clap for you! This is the matter, you don't just sweat too much. If the money is fine, you don't need to para too much. Mm. See this witch waist and down here? This one, she might your, your papa think. Now she holding me but Tell them, you don't tell your papa. It is your mother that is a witch. Her entire access to this a witch. Your mother's mother is a witch. I said, lay down. Then she called her mother. I said, lay down. I'm not going to do that like that. I'm not going to do that there. I shut up. They want to kill me. They just, they want to kill me. Um, bros, what happened the other day? You know what make it happen again? Nobody won't pay you again. Now beg, with a beg. I beg, we use God, beg you. Talk to Oni. Talk to her. Just make her believe, say, Bobo are the correct guy for the kids' CC job. With a beg you. I beg. How else am I supposed to make you boys understand that I am not interested in whatever you have to offer? Senior bros, I beg, we're not going to make you vex. You don't have to now. Uh, all you have to do is just to, just to help us do what we ask you to do. I yeah? beg. Uh, and we'll all be happier. I beg. We'll all be happier. We're not going to stop you again. Do you know what will make me happy? In fact, I'll be happier if two of you will just turn around and disappear from this compound. Ah! Wait, Steph. We don't even 
Pharaoh for Bible at times in the changing mind. They don't beg you no way. Beg you no way. Waiting. I beg. I mean they talk to you. No, no, no. Wait. No, 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 sir. No, no, sir. Unabe Chris. See this street urchins. They don't follow you, Joe. I want you guys severely to stay clear from this woman. Eh? If you cannot respect her as your stepmother, then you keep away from her. You have to remain kneeling throughout today. Honey, since you've insisted that I should kneel, uh, I'll bring you food. No, but obey your father. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Kneel, kneel properly, kneel. You see what I call maturity? You are here attacking her and she's showing you love and understanding. Can't you learn from her good examples? Eh, hey, girls, can't you? Susie, please come up. I, I can't use the staircase. I need help. Help to get on the stairs. Okay, just wait. I'm coming to pick you. I hear one of you is a noble son. Um, that will be me. What brings you to the palace? Um, your, your majesty, you see, there is this serious war, serious coded war that has been going on between my father and I. Why? Over his decision to pinch tent against the king. Your majesty, I've always wanted to be vocal about this, but because there was no one no force from the king's side to support me. I decided to hold my peace. But your majesty, we've heard much about you. We know what you can do. So I've stood my ground against my father. And I've decided to come here and be at your service as palace soldiers. Me and my friend. Please, please, don't say no. Fascinating. I'm certain I'll need vibrant young men like you. I'll see what I can do. Come with me. We shall rise from this jungle of injustice. Where are you? I don't know. Where are you? Where Amara, what is it? I just come now. I see Suzanne with him. Oh no, he's even with his I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I suspect. Hi, girls. What are those two boys doing in this palace? Well, I was thinking today is a perfect day for us to discuss some political points. In the fight for the throne of your father. What political point is she talking about? I'm not sure myself, but I'm certain that the boys will come out handy, especially Zebunam's son. They could be spies for all I care. <laughs> I'm not sure myself, but time will tell. Come on, girls, don't sweat it. <laughs> I don't 
even know who she's doing that for? Herself or her father? Time will also tell. What do you mean, I need to speak? What do you mean? Go and find a dictionary. And please, I'm reading. Now I know that obstetric hemorrhage is a condition of vaginal internal external bleeding that occurs during pregnancy, labor or immediately after childbirth. It's also a major cause of maternal mortality. Although you didn't tell me before reading my manuscript, I must say I'm impressed. You have finally understood my work. Mm, really? Yeah. You have widened your horizon. <laughs> It's not funny. This is sarcasm. And I also come to understand your characterization of every member of this family in this your damn book. This book is more about maternal mortality and the pain I feel not growing up with a mother like some other people because she died from a cause that could have been easily prevented. And also the negative effect of growing up without a mother. Hmm? And I happen to be one of your silly examples like couldn't you have mentioned somebody else? Zaram, I didn't mean it like that, okay? I, I only... How did you mean it? Okay. You were meant to tell the whole world that you're the nun, why I'm the prostitute or the slut or the slag that sleeps with every Tom, Dick and Harry, hey, right? Hey, 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 wait till you Where did that boy here? Where the shots? Yeah? I didn't want to for passage. Wait till you Your reverend sister has done it again. I just finished reading her manuscript. And you cannot begin to imagine what she wrote about every member of this family in this her damn book. I lie. And the book with this. Yeah, it's ready. Chisa. Chisa, I think you see yourself. You a dear. You didn't want to say I want to be the first person to read the book. But oh no, your paper body don't go bring you rest. You don't go rush now, first me read down. You don't believe for think. Eh, as we say, don't read down now. Deal with everything you saw in here. Me no more sharp for you. You're not palace. I said this is my idea. Tell her to see where. Amara, Amara, please don't make this about you. You're not going to make a mountain out of a molehill. For God's sake, it's just a book. Nothing extraordinary or so fascinating. Ooh, I know one here. And I see this one. I'm going to do a ginger for fights. And I won't fight that thing. And no wala. I just carry and go outside because it be so. I no get strength to separate fights. Mm. My eye dots. I can't even see myself. Mm. Of course, you don't have strength to separate fights. <laughs> when gossip and weed has taken away your essence. You say? What do you talk? Mm. What do you talk? You Dad, what I'm trying to say is, you might start regretting why you gave your wife a free hand. Ezudo, she is correct. I saw your wife entertaining Onowu's son and one other boy as I was coming in. Considering your suspicious about Onowu, he might have sent his son to come and spy. Whether he's a spy or not, that's not the problem here. Dad, we've been able to manage what has been going on in this palace. For outsiders not to hear it. Hmm. Dad, let, let me see what is going on. Ezudo. Cut down on her excesses. Before it's too late. I know why I'm saying this. I'm not coming here, Meren Jeku. Cut it down. I've heard you, and you have a point. I'll take care of her. She got an hour, but doesn't have Marachi. Send a me smoke pass. Smally, what do you smoke when I try this thing? Now, will you smoke? Who will be there? Be there. You follow me that thing. I mean, they say, I don't know. Oh, yes, see. Oh, you can't say, keep you. Try it again in front of me again, eh? I would take it personal. What is wrong with all of you? Hey! You, what is going on? I don't know. I don't, I don't know their problem with that. Shut up your mouth. You're very stupid. Fat. Slap you. Shut up there your mouth. Cool, let's You don't know your problem with him. Abby? Oh, yeah. Let's tell your brother and tell you what he did. I just asked the question and I need an answer. What is going on? Listen yourself. We 
Which way, Chief? Swally, I just stay. You. you never finish, show. I will catch you for corner. I will destroy you, eh? I will. I will bless you. Uh, like I said, let, I, I want to go for Papa. a meeting now. Papa. Let me go for a meeting. Uh, listen, listen. This matter is closed. I rule you out of order. The eyes have it. Boom. Papa, there's nothing like the eyes here. We have to conclude on, on this listen, thing. Listen. We have to conclude on this thing. Archer, this matter is, is unstoppable. My decision is unstoppable. Two of you have been cat and mouse in this house. I've tried everything to find out what the problem is. But you decided to keep it to yourself. If you continue like this and kill yourself, I will give you people a decent burial. No one now. Papa. Papa. What I am saying is that there's no way I'll be in this house and allow you to take a second wife. Look, I'm trying to achieve what you could not. Instead of lending me your support, you are here trying to convince yourself that you're antagonizing me. You, you must be an idiot! Papa, you have just achieved only one thing. Realizing that you gave back to an idiot. That's what you have achieved. And let me tell you something. It is only a snake that will give back to something long. Oh, you are now lashing out a proverb at me. Anyway, I'm sure you must have grown wings. But let me tell you, if a bird learns to fly without perching, then the hunter learns to shoot without aiming. And if you get married to that woman, Okamaka, this house will become too small for all of us. My own house. My father's house. This is my father's house. You can go to your own father's house and do whatever you want. This is my own father's house. Anyway, let me just attend. I have a meeting to attend. But as for this matter, my decision here is like a moving train. Very unstoppable. The matter is closed. And I have ruled you out of order. The eyes have it. Home. The matter is still open. We have not agreed. Let, let us agree. The eyes have it. Tom, we have not agreed though. Um, Obi, any news about my son? Not one at all. I've even searched around. No news. But sir, don't you think it would be a wise idea if we inform the police? No, 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 no. No. Not with the negative publicity that follows it. And not at this point in time. Huh? No. I know him very well. He will never go into hiding in anywhere in this world when he goes broke. <laughs> Don't worry. But, uh, you can still go about search for him. I will still search, but he might be in danger. Don't worry. I know him. He's my son. He will come back. When money finishes, <laughs> he returns. <laughs> I know him. He will come back. Oh. I know this might sound stupid, eh? but if we pull it and succeed, she will trust us more. And when they trust us more, we will now have access to their money, which I can even smell from here. You know the sea house? Since you come to this house, you don't dream bad dream. Okay. So when we get their money, we will kiss them goodbye and log out. You don't know how they go. Think. Fine, fine. You don't talk your own. But sleep for your innermost mind. For your innermost mind, sleep. You, you think that is good enough punishment? Eh? By throwing him out of the gathering like that. Can you phantom that kind of humiliation? Which kind of disgrace be that? Can you phantom it? Phantom it now, boy. You know your problem. I, you, 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 you've not ever, ever for one day considered the kind of reaction your father will have. And sleep. You know your you problem. Human being. You know, you know my problem with you, eh? You two speak nonsense English. What in the phantom? Fagene. No be name of car be that. Who they want disgrace? Papa, not my own papa. No be your own. <laughs> Sleek. So now they talk about the disgrace. Leave them. Sleek. <laughs> See my table what you got. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day. You must be Archer. Yes, I am. Hmm. <laughs> Archer. Archer, tell me, what is your relationship with Onye? She is my fiancée. 
Oh, it's unfortunate. I haven't had time for us to actually sit and talk. I mean, it's really important that we... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't get your last statement correctly. You said she's your fiancé. Yes, that's right. And the king approves? The king knows about us. <laughs> my, my goodness. <sighs> what they say about wonders, of course it's true. <laughs> It'll just never end. You know, when I heard Acha, I thought to meet somebody who has so much grace, so much presence, I mean class, I mean, I felt I was going to be something exceptional, but that's somebody exceptional. Well, I am so sorry, Acha. I mean, judging from your shoes, <laughs> and your, your shirt, you, you obviously don't spell classy or anything exceptional. I don't mean to be rude. I'm so sorry. I'm just good at telling the truth. <laughs> oh, please, sip your wine. You should enjoy. You know, the first day you stepped into this palace, none of the maids agreed to touch any of your clothes not even to use them as rags. Little wonder you had them all fired. But you know what? You can never fire the memory of what you looked like that day from the minds of those present. You weren't looking anything near flashy, classy, and exceptional. <laughs> I didn't know you still remember that. I still remember. I see. Losers. We shall see. We have already seen. And please, when you're trying to tell my father the atrocity that Archer has committed, try to use something classy, royal and exceptional. I will first throw your cheap shoes out of this palace before I deal with you. Losers. Bring him down. Bring him down. We shall rise from this jungle of injustice. Peace shall reign. Sure. 